Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and in this lesson we're going to learn about changing the image size and resolution of your images and how to change the cam or how to change the canvas size as well, because they're both around the uh, same like area. So might as well go over them both. So what, what I'm talking about, I want to maybe like make this a little smaller or even possibly make this a little bigger. So let me take down this uh, welcome to Photoshop part. And we just got this picture of the uh, two cool, cool looking girls. So let's uh, go up here to our options up here and go to image and click on that and we're going to come down here to image size and you can see that the hotkey for windows is alt control and i so that would be command option i on a mac so click on that and we've got the ability to change the width and the height of our pixel our, of our image so uh, something that i wanted to uh show you guys is that when you see this locked button over here, it looks like a, it's supposed to be like a locked symbol. This constraint proportions checkbox here um, toggles that. And you mainly, almost all the time, want to have that on because it will constrain the proportions and of your image, which means that your image won't be all like distorted. So I'll uh, show you real quick what it, what's just a, uh, make this a little bit smaller I'll make this like a thousand and then this because this constraint proportions will be 667 I'll hit OK and then as you can see it made it smaller I'm gonna go to edit undo to get it back to where it was now if I go to change the image size again but don't constrain the proportions and then I hit OK. You can see that the image has now been squished and now it is distorted looking. So that's why you usually want to have constraint proportions on. I mean if you're if you have just an image of like I don't know like a solid color or something like that then worrying about distortion doesn't matter as much or like anything that's not like a photo. So mainly with photos you always want to have the constraint proportions on. So let's go back to the image size and let's, and let's try to let's put constraint proportions on and then we can increase the size. And Photoshop does a good job of keeping the image quality intact. One because it's a smart object right now and two because we have a setting on there that I'm going to tell you about um, but as you can see I was able to increase the size of this image and still keep some pretty good photo quality in it so let's go back to undo and let's go back to our image size down here at the bottom there is this drop down menu that has a bunch of different types of um, resampling which is uh, if you uncheck this box where it says resample image this will no longer be um, available so if you want to resample the image here which uh, helps keep the uh, uh, the nice quality of your of your image when you scale it up or scale it down so you want to make sure you have that checked now bicubic automatic is the new uh, one in Photoshop CS6 and that is it's the default and it gives you the uh, best it's like the best one for like most things that you use and it gives you high quality now we got a couple other ones here and they give you a an idea of what they are good for so nearest neighbor it's a uh, best for quick results with a uh, low quality bilinear is good for like line art like um, if you're just trying to make a bunch of graphic design using like lines um, bicubic is best for smooth gradients and uh, bicubic uh, smoother is good for if you want to enlarge your image and uh, bicubic sharper here is good for reducing the image while keeping high quality results so that's what these are that's what these mean 
most of the time you just want to stick with bicubic automatic because it it's kind of like the uh, all-in-one tool that will help you do like almost everything so um, one other thing we can change this to uh, percentage so maybe you don't know the exact pixels you want but you someone your client was like reduce that size by 50% so we can go 50% there and um, it'll reduce it by 50% so that's another great thing now let's come back into our image size here and we've got our resolution down here that we can also change now I can bring this down to maybe like 72 pixels per inch hit OK and it'll lower the resolution and then you can see that it also lowers the amount of size so if you remember in if you watched the previous tutorial where I told you that I was working on a logo for someone and I did it in 72 ppi and then I had to change it <clears throat> to 300 ppi because she wanted it on print that pretty much I had to when I changed it to a 30 or to uh, 300 ppi it like way blasted up the size of the logo and then it made it a little uh, less um, less uh, resolution in it so I had to redo it again now one thing when you are using the uh, when you're trying to change just the resolution you may not want to have resample image on because it is not needed when you're trying to um, fix the resolution that way we don't have to have any more extra processes going on while we're doing this so that's just something to keep in mind now we want I want to show you how to adjust the canvas size go to image and right below image size is canvas size now we can do this in uh, inches and then we got pixels we got percent I'm gonna put it to percent right now I'm gonna increase the canvas size by a hundred percent hundred fifty percent if I hit relative, oops, should have hit relative earlier. Let's put this back to 100. Now click on relative. And when you click on relative, it brings it down to zero so that now you can increase. Let's go to 50. And maybe 50 here. Hit OK. And it increased the actual canvas size. So let me zoom out using the zoom tool here and the canvas all it is pretty much is basically just something for you to work on kind of think of it as like if someone's painting a portrait or something like that this is the canvas and this is just the amount of space they have to work on you can always turn off your canvas or whatever but this is what's going to show up <clears throat> this is what like anything outside the canvas is not going to show up when you try to save your image so uh, that's how you uh, edit your canvas size. Let's go back into it and see if there's anything else we need to, uh, I mean, nothing else really that we need to check out. Um, just remember that relative will uh, set it down to zero so that that way you can work with it a little easier. Um, it's pretty much your preference. So that's, uh, that's all for this tutorial. We talked about image size, resolution, and canvas size, and how to change all those. So thanks for watching this tutorial, everybody, and have a good day.